What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. This is the first video of 2022. Holy Hannah. Thank you all for a really great year last year on YouTube. It's a privilege to make these videos for you guys. And it's awesome, super fun. And it's really rewarding to know that these videos are helping you all and that you enjoy the videos as well. So thank you everyone for the support on the channel. We're growing slowly but surely. We're almost at 5k subscribers, so that is the current goal to get to 5k as soon as possible. So with all that being said, today's video is a turnaround that is very Garcia inspired that can be used over the songs such as Aiko Aiko or Man Smart, Women Smarter, right? This particular idea came from Aiko Aiko from 32788. So without further ado, let's dive into the lesson. Cool. So this Aiko Aiko turnaround lick is very inspired from a turnaround that Garcia did over this song from the 32788 show that is from Hampton, Virginia. <laughs> Incredible show, a smoking second set, and Garcia's playing and tone is some of the best that he's done. So here is my version of this turnaround lick. <laughs> So now let's zoom in and really see what's happening. Cool. All zoomed in. Here is this turnaround slow. <laughs> So as we already know, just basic, the Ico Ico chords are just D to A, right? D, A. Right? And so this turnaround will be played over the A chord, right? And it's long enough that it gets us back to the tonic, which is D, right? So what's really happening? First, we can say our first phrase, right, is we're essentially spelling out a D major triad, right? Sliding in from this E to F sharp, this major third degree for D major, this F sharp on the ninth fret of the A string, hitting the seventh fret of the D string, that A, and then coming down chromatically from E to D. E, E flat, D. Right? Now for our A, we hit this B, ninth fret of the D string. This is our second degree of the A. Here's our A major triad. We're sliding in six to seven, 
G sharp to A, right? It's the passing tone to G sharp. Hitting this C sharp, the major third of A. And then coming down chromatically to this flat seven degree, this G natural, right? So together, that is. Right, one more time. Really cool, right? So we're essentially going chromatically down on both, but one is going to the root of D and one is going to the flat seven of A. Right, and then that will descend this D major scale. Right, so all together, slowly, that is. Also there, I added this passing tone, this E. Just fills in an empty gap being there. And so like in the beginning, as you saw, now we have the idea of this lake. Now we can move it around to different parts of the fretboard, right? And we can also end it differently, right? So let's check out the same lick now, just one octave higher. Let's go. So here we are, one octave higher, and here is the turnaround. So, like the octave lower, we're going to start out by spelling, kind of, a D major triad. Sliding into this F sharp, 11th fret of the G string, to this A, 10th fret of the B string. Then we're going to come down chromatically, 12, 11, 10 to emphasize this D, right? Now for the A, we're gonna hit this B, 12th fret of the B string, then slide into the A from one fret below, G sharp, A, hit this C sharp, which is the third degree of A on the ninth fret of the high E string, and then come down chromatically, A, G sharp, D, one, major seven, flat seven, right? So those two phrases together, right? One more time. Now we'll come down this D major scale. And I also hint at this B slightly before coming down. So. Something like that. Right? Slow.
one octave higher, right? So when you have these kind of phrases, it's best to know everywhere you can do it. So doesn't matter where in the fretboard you are, whether you're down here in the middle or super high, you have this lick in your arsenal and you know where to play it. So now let's go up one octave higher to make this D on the 15th fret of the B string, our root. So we'll be back in one second. So now we're one octave higher than before. <laughs> and the lick would look something like this. Right? So again, the same technique, how we're almost spelling this D major triad, A descending to the flat seven and then coming down the D major scale applies. So let's check it out. So again, we're going to slide into this F sharp, which would be the 16th fret of the D string. Hit this A, 14th fret of the G string, and then come down chromatically, 17, 16, 15 on the B string. Right? Now for the A, we're going to hit this B. 16th fret of the G string, slide from G sharp to A, 13, 14, hit this C sharp, 14th fret on the B string, and then come down chromatically from A, G sharp, G to the flat seven. Right, so those two phrases together. Descending from that A to G is a little bit tricky. So you got to focus on not being too sloppy. Right? You want to hear every note. Almost staccato. Right? If you want also, you can even end it differently. Right? So it's great to have a phrase like this and learn it everywhere on the fretboard to get the maximum, I guess, area to cover when you want to use this turnaround. <laughs> well, all right, guys, that is today's video on this Garcia-inspired Aiko Aiko turnaround, right? Even though this progression is only two chords, there's still a ton of room to have fun and exciting solos around the neck. So have fun practicing the solo and integrate this turnaround, which is really, really cool. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.